We continue to follow breaking news out of Greensboro. The son of the man who's accused of attempting to assassinate former President Donald Trump now facing serious charges of his own. Orrin Ruth, son of Ryan Ruth, just appeared in federal court within the last hour and a half on charges of possessing child sexual abuse images. He was arrested this week after investigators found hundreds of files of child sexual abuse material in his possession while searching his Greensboro home. Our crew is in the courtroom and they say that Ruth showed no emotion as if he faced a judge this afternoon. Welcome to the Fox 8 4 o'clock news. I'm Chad Tucker and I'm Natalie Wilson. Fox 8's Elijah Skipper is live at Orrin Roof's home along Van Wert Street in Greensboro. Elijah, what have you learned? Yeah, the lights are on outside Orrin Roof's home and a car appears to be in the driveway, but it doesn't seem like anyone is home. I spoke with a mechanic who shares this driveway. He didn't want to go on camera, but told me while working yesterday, he saw Orrin walking down the driveway in a hoodie, cowboy hat, and carrying a bag. Moments later, FBI agents swarmed in, yelled, freeze FBI, and arrested him right here. According to court documents, the FBI searched Ruth's apartment last weekend and uncovered multiple electronic devices. Investigators say these devices contain hundreds of files of child pornography. It took agents one day to obtain a warrant to search those those devices. Greensboro police initially arrested Ruth on drug charges on Saturday. They say he's accused of possessing cocaine, MDMA, ketamine, and various drug paraphernalia. Then on Monday, federal agents took him into custody on more serious charges. We reached out to Greensboro police and the FBI to find out what led to the search of Ruth's apartment, but they referred us to the state and federal charging documents for details. Ruth is going to remain in U.S. Marshal custody. He also has a pass running into law enforcement out of charges out of Wake County in 2016. He has two of those, one for interfering with emergency communications and assault on a female. We reached out to Greensboro, more for Greensboro Police for more details. He's still going to remain in U.S. Marshal custody. In Greensboro, Elijah Skipper, Fox 8 News.